So what do you do when you are in the peak district but you can't climb? The next morning. Right, so we've eventually made it to the plantation again. Uh, it looks like today it's gonna be dry. Now we just uh, doing the approach and hopefully we'll be able to get on some dry stuff. That's the goal for today basically. Um, so I have three blocks that I want to dry today in the plantation and if they go quickly and we don't spend too much time in here we might go to Gardam's uh, Edge as well later on. So yeah, let's see how it goes. After warming up, Batja was the first block I got to try. It's a 7A mega sharp block high up in the pebble area in the plantation. Of course, I was going to try to flash it. However, the day had different plans for me. was Captain Hook, a tricky 7B low ball that is a nemesis of mine. I didn't have many expectations to send it, however my friend Carlos pushed myself and psyched me up.
give you guys a little bit of perspective of how surprised I got by climbing this on my first go, this was my fourth session on it and I hadn't got past the lip on any attempt in the past. I think the conditions were perfect as it felt like a totally different problem this time. My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. After doing this block, I went to have a look at Glass Hour, a Techie 7A that unfortunately I wasn't able to even start. Not too long after, I decided to stop embarrassing myself and move on. We drove to Garden's Edge where we had a play on some ET stuff to re-warm up to give a proper flash go to Mark's roof. This is a roofy 7A classic problem that I've been meaning to try for a while. The rock on the boulder was a bit wet but the actual line I was interested on was dry so that worked perfectly for me. Straight after doing this, I went to have a go at soft on the G, which felt impossible for me. I actually don't know if I was starting it right or if I was missing out on some essential beta, but in any case, the block felt miles away. Probably not the best way to finish off a climbing day, but I was happy to have added a few more ticks to the list. <laughs> I'm looking forward to coming back, trying out more blocks and to try in Sovito. That's all for this vlog folks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support my channel please like the video, drop me a comment and subscribe.